as for all sewing machines, if you thread it and wind the bobbin correctly, it will work. So I'm going to show you the tricks of threading and winding a bobbin for the Bernina 790 Plus sewing machine. And you'll do the same thing when you are threading and winding a bobbin for when you're embroidering. So let's just talk about thread real quick. Quality thread makes all the difference on this machine. This is a high performance sewing machine. You have to treat it right. Don't put low quality thread in your machine. And if you don't know if it's low quality, just take a look. If you can see little bumps or slubs or inconsistencies in the thread, maybe we should not use this on this machine. So on a thread that has kind of the cross wound features here, we like to put that on the horizontal spool pin. Now right now I do have the little foam on here. There are spools that are a little bit bigger that I usually just pull that off, but since it fits, I'm gonna put that on, and then you need to match a spool cap to the end size. So on this one being a little bit bigger, I'm sliding the largest spool cap all the way on so there's no gap between those two. Now, if you have a spool or brand of thread that the thread is not X'd on and it's more of like a stacked thread, let's put that on the, the vertical spool pin back here. And again, you can put one of those little foam bases on just so it doesn't get caught around the base. But good quality thread usually comes crosswise Wound, so you'll lay it down. Next, take an empty bobbin, and yes, you're probably going to need more bobbin, so don't be afraid. Treat yourself. If you don't have enough, you're always going to need more. Um, so as your thread comes off the horizontal spool pin, you will always use this guide, whether you're threading the machine or winding a bobbin. So first guide is always here. Take two hands and come underneath. Next, for a successful bobbin winding, you must bring the thread underneath this little pretensioner. And I'll just usually hold it and follow the arrow direction. So we're going clockwise all the way around and towards the bobbin winder. You'll feel a little resistance now. That's what makes this bobbin feel nice and firm and not in a fluffy manner. Now there's only one way this bobbin goes on the bobbin winder and that's with the silver side down. So just go ahead put it down without any thread in it, and then notice the arrow right here. It is showing you to wrap the thread around the bobbin. I usually do four or five times, maybe a few more if it's slippery bobbin thread. And then after that, there is a little thread cutter right underneath here. If you bring your thread underneath and flip it over at the same time, it will start to wind. You'll notice that your screen turns to a speed option. You can slow that down or go all the way fast, whatever is best for you. You can touch and hold, you can do the plus, you can put it back to normal by touching the number that is highlighted yellow on the screen. When it's done filling, it will stop. If for any reason it doesn't fill all the way to your liking, you actually have a little hole right here where you can adjust when this actually pops over. Now, do you remember that little cutter that we had right uh, at the beginning? We're gonna use that again. Just take your bobbin straight up and around the back and towards you and it cuts the thread. So there's actually, th let's see here, is there four thread cutters on this machine? Uh, one's here, one's on the side, one's in the bobbin area, and one's the scissor button on the front of the machine. Since we're right here, let's continue with putting the bobbin in the bobbin case. Again, only one way it fits, silver side down. What are those silver notches for? This actually is part of the sensor, so of letting us know when the bobbin is low. These little holes are at different intervals and it will let the machine know when it can't see any thread in there anymore. Brilliant. So we're just gonna put that straight down in there. Then we're looking for the silver side. We're bringing the thread down that little uh, groove and to the left. Now notice where my hands are. I'm kind of resisting the bobbin so it can not spin while I slide it down the side and then up into where the little metal piece is. So your thread needs to kind of come into this area. It slides around on the left and up inside it. When you put this in the machine, you are looking for this to be at the top and the silver arm here is about three o'clock. Uh, this is, and we'll just slide it in. 
there is a little indent right here. I'm going to show you it now so, be, so you can see. When your finger touches the far right side of that little arm, that's what pops it out of the machine. So if you're pushing it in and touching that area, you're popping it back out. It won't latch in. So just kind of find where you can hold it and slide it all the way into the machine. So line up that little silver arm, press gently all the way in and until it clicks, take the thread, use one of those thread cutters I mentioned you had four of, cut the thread on the side, close the door, and forget about it. So this is a machine you don't have to bring the bobbin thread up when you start to sew. Back up at the top, we only use the pretensioner to wind a bobbin. So undo that part. And I'm going to show you a little trick that's going to help make it easier to thread this machine every single time successfully. So we are still in this last little guide that is parallel from where the spool is. And you're going to be coming and following the arrow straight down. So when you're here, if you hold this thread in the with one of your hands as you come down and then start going up underneath this silver part right here if you stop and do a little flossing action you are making sure the thread is getting deep enough into the tension discs they're right here in that first groove that you just went down now if your take up lever isn't at the highest position use your needle up down button to go ahead and cycle through so you're not using your hand wheel much with this machine, always go ahead and let it naturally come up to its highest position. Take your thread, you're going in on the right, down on the left, and it's catching in that take up lever right there. There's two more guides before we get to the needle threader. One at the end of the housing right here, go behind it, and one at the top of the needle, also go behind it. As you go to use the needle threader, as you bring it down the little bit, the presser foot will lower, puts a little resistance on this thread, hook it underneath this little arm, put the needle threader all the way down until it swings around the needle itself. Slide the thread in the groove and lift up just a little bit and let the thread pull out of your fingers. We're gonna link right up here to our needle threader video so you can have a little closer look because really what I wanna do is get to sewing and show you that everything is working beautifully. So remember, we don't have to bring that bobbin thread up. Take two pieces of fabric or one piece of fabric. You fold it in half. You'll see me do that throughout these videos. Always sew on two layers. It gives you a better finished result. Step on the foot control. That foot will come down for you. Oh, she just purrs, doesn't she? When you get to the end, you can touch the scissor button. It will cut the thread and lift the foot up and just gently pull out to the side. So you should see the same thread look of seam on the front as you do on the back. And that is when you know you've threaded it correctly.